Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm really excited to do another bold lipstick bingo here on my channel. Basically what this is, is I randomly draw one bold lipstick from my collection and I create an entire makeup look surrounding it. It's a very simple premise, but it really gets me inspired and just ignites something in me that is out of my everyday norm. I mean, I don't have an everyday norm by any means when it comes to my makeup but it really just gives me a chance to create a look on the whim and I tend to go a little bit dramatic with these looks just for the heck of it and I'm super excited to hop into it so I'm just gonna do so I have changed it around a little bit now so I actually do have all of my lipsticks in a Google spreadsheet just so much easier to keep track of than little pieces of paper and I actually have 33 lipsticks that I would consider bold shades, like out of my comfort zone kind of shades or out of my norm kind of shades. And so I'm just gonna draw one of those randomly. Now, if I do end up pulling one that I've already done a bold lipstick bingo with because I've actually put them all into the spreadsheet, I'll just pass over that and draw something new. Let's just do it. Okay, so I have numbers one to 33 here in the um, pretty random app and I'm just gonna draw one. I got shade number three, so I'm gonna go into my spreadsheet, figure out what that is. It is Bite Scorpio. Oh, I'm super excited for this. And here is the lipstick that I selected. This is Bite Beauty Scorpio. This was part of their like astrology series that they did for 2018. And being a Scorpio, I could not pass this up because I love a good orange red lipstick shade. I did swatch it um, beside an eyeshadow, but that is the color right there, so absolutely beautiful. It is very orange, it pulls quite orange on me and it can make my lips, my lips, no, my teeth look kind of yellow, but there's something that I'm so drawn to about this shade. When I saw what they had selected for the Scorpio lipstick color, I could not resist this. Like there was no way that I wasn't buying this because I feel like as a Scorpio, I really do kind of identify with this shade. Um, that sounds so silly, but I truly do. And yeah, I am so excited to pull this out because I feel like this is such a fun summer color. I have primed my eyelids and set them. And then I also just did my brows off camera and I'm gonna go into my singles, but I just set them the two aside that I'm gonna use. So this one right here is from ColourPop. This is Sea Stars. And then this one is from ABH and that's the shade Amber. I'm just going to use a blending brush to apply Sea Stars up into my crease and I'm just gonna really smoke it out. I am pretty liberal with this step most of the time. I'm not afraid to just really go ham right from the start. I'm actually gonna pop that on my outer corner just to create a little bit more depth there when I go in with the metallic on the lid. And then I'm just gonna take a clean brush and really buff out that edge. So I feel like I'm gonna want a little bit more depth than what this shade is offering. So I'm gonna go into my Nabla Solo Blooming Palette. I just really love the mattes in here. And I'm gonna use the shade Caravaggio, which is like a deep chocolate brown as well. It just is more like a dark chocolate versus a milk chocolate kind of shade. And I'm just gonna pop that on the lid on the outer portion and just really deepen up that portion. So I keep it super simple with my eye looks. That's really all I'm gonna do for the mattes, I believe, unless I have to kind of touch it up after. But now I'm just gonna go into Amber, which is a beautiful like bronzy golden kind of shade. And I just haven't played with this enough, but I felt really drawn to it lately. So I'm just going in with my finger to pop this onto like the lid primarily. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So you could definitely leave this eye as it is and just pop on mascara, finish up the base and add on that lip. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm using the shade Slow Burn, which is the orange red right there. And basically all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as a liner. So I'm going to cover the brush in like a ton of pigment, really get it in between the bristles and then tap off all the excess that will come off of it. And then I'm using my Smashbox primer water to make it more like a wet or gel kind of consistency. And I'm just gonna go from there. So we're gonna see how this will build. I don't know if this is gonna work with this eyeshadow. I haven't used this before for this kind of technique, but basically 
I'm just gonna go into it. I'm just gonna start in the middle of the eye. This is gonna take a couple layers, I can tell. So I don't know if you can tell, I'll probably just try to zoom it in post, but you can see it's very faint, the red, but it definitely is there. So it's gonna take a couple layers to build up. So I'm just going to put more product and more primer water onto my brush and just continue to build that up. So I went off camera and I'm having a really hard time making these look symmetrical. So they got, they like just kept growing and growing, but I feel like they look pretty cool. Like this one is basically half of my eyelid, but I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm lucky to have hooded eyes in that sense because at least it hides a lot of, you know, how uneven these are. But I must say that eyeshadow doesn't seem to be able to work as a liner as well as ColourPop Spark did for me. And that's probably because that palette is super old, but um, maybe the way that they're pressed as well is just completely different. But anyway, I am, I think I can roll with this. I think this will look pretty good in the end. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. I mean, I'm gonna do my base now and I'm going to actually mix these two items together. They're both from Project Pans. I have my Hangover X and the Liquid Highlighter from e.l.f. I'm actually gonna mix these two together to give myself a really glowy base because I'm going to use a more matte foundation, which is also from our Project Pan. I'm just going to pop that on and then literally pop this one on as well and just use my hands to kind of blend it all in. So of course I want to get some use out of this because I rolled the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation into my Roulette Pan Collab, but I cannot figure out a way to really use it on my skin right now because my skin has been kind of like combo dry to normal. And so I've been mixing it with different formulations. This has been my favorite one so far because not only is it a little bit too light for my skin, but it also is a more dewy formula. So the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in LW2 mixed with the Pro Filter in 190 becomes basically my perfect color and it's a nice just not too dewy, not too matte, just like right in the middle kind of formula when you mix them together. So I'm going to do that today and I'm going to do the exact same thing where I just plunk it onto my face. So I'm going to just pop the Fenty on first. With this guy I'm just going to swipe on and I think I'm gonna use more of the Healthy Foundation than the Fenty, just to make it feel more comfortable. If I need to add more Fenty, I definitely will, but these actually mix so well together. And for the under eyes, every single day, I've been using this um, Pacifica Transcendent um, Concentrated Concealer. Concentrated Correcting Concealer. I will never get that name right. And I'm just going to use the same sponge. This just helps to start to cancel out all of the discoloration under my eyes. It's just kind of like a priming step, but it does also make um, concealers that are a bit more drying feel a little bit more hydrating, which I really appreciate because, you know, your girl's starting to get older and I don't want my concealer to show it. <laughs> I'm trying to hide that. So the next thing I'm going to go in with, I've used this twice ever, so I'm really not sure how I feel about this yet, but this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have mine in the shade Almond, which I think might be a touch too dark, but because I used that darker foundation today, I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm just going to use the doe foot to really just apply it to the right under the eyes. Yeah, I can tell it's not going to be the most brightening option, but that's okay. So I just went off camera to do blush, bronzer, highlight because my camera was starting to overheat. I just used all Project Pan items for all of my cheeks. And then I ended up setting underneath my eyes because I found that I was getting 
pretty bad creasing happening on this under eye and that might be the combination of the two concealers that I use so I definitely have to play with the Born This Way just on its own. I don't think this needs anything else for coverage anyways but I just I'm trying to use the other one up so I just wanted to use it how I've been using my other concealers. Um, but I'm going to give this a try on its own instead. So I'm just going to go into C-Stars right here and I'm just going to smoke that out across my lower lash line. So I think I'm just going to stick with that on the lower lash line. I think it really looks nice and quite smoky but not too heavy at all. And then I'm going to go into the Blush Tribe Blossom Palette. I'm going to mix the Dandelion shade which I'm working on in my pan, those eyeshadows with my Fenty Hustle Baby Mini to give me a brow bone and an inner corner highlight. Now this is not essential to mix it. I just wanna kind of see if I can lighten up this highlighter and make it look a little less harsh on the brow bone. We'll see. No, it just looks straight up white. <laughs> oh no. And then on the inner corner, I'm just using more of the Hustler Baby for the inner corner, but I do have a touch of dandelion there as well. So I'm going to go off camera, pop on um, my ColourPop Get Paid liner into the waterline, put on a ton of mascara, and then I'll come right back to do the lip. The final step that we have is this amazing lipstick. This is Bite Scorpio, and warning, it's going to be very vibrant, but... She's a beaut. Um, I'm just gonna go right from the bullet. It's just my preferred way of applying pretty much every lipstick because lazy. And my lips are a little bit dry, but this formula, this is the Amuse Bouche. This is kind of nourishing. It's quite nice. I feel like the look came together really nicely. I'm really happy with the way that this lip looks with this eye and I just love the way that this lip looks on my complexion also. I feel like as bold and as bright as it is, it definitely is a flattering red on me personally. It might not do so great for my teeth, but I do think that it looks really nice with my coloring, especially now that I have my skin like bronzed up. I feel like it just I don't know, I just feel very confident and very happy in this and I'm really, really glad that this is the color that I selected today because this is just like the confidence boost that I think I needed today and I'm just, I'm just digging it. I'm really happy with this look that I created. This is nothing new or revolutionary. Um, it is quite simple, but it was a lot of fun to create. I got a chance to use a lot of my Project Pan items, which sometimes when I do these sorts of challenges, I kind of want to steer away from them, but it just lended so perfectly to using that eyeshadow from the Electric palette and just to play around with the foundation that I haven't had a chance to use all that often. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this look came out. I'm really happy I had a chance to just have some makeup playtime and I'm really happy that you guys got a chance to see the process a little bit more. I know so many of you asked for tutorials from me and it's just like not my thing at all. I feel like whenever I get on camera to do makeup, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know how to do my makeup anymore. And to be honest, I'm sitting on the floor right now, so it's not the most comfortable situation either. So yeah, that is absolutely everything for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed being a part of this, just coming along for the ride of seeing what kind of look I would create based on the lipstick selection and I hope that you like the look that I came up with so thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one bye guys